He told cops that he beat himself up. He punched himself in the eye and then he had his other, one twin daughter hit him over the head with something and the other one punched him in the eye even harder. And the whole thing about her getting kicked out of the house because of the rugs, she said that that was all a lie too. And the twins told her that, that they never told their dad that. So I was just like, I started wondering if any of that was true. I really did because it was like, you know, why would they, you know, why would they just automatically come and tell you all this stuff? So, I know, but she claims that they said it, it never happened. Oh, I'm glad I got out because it's just not fun worrying about her anymore. Yeah. Oh, I bet there is. There's videos of her doing all kinds of crazy things. But I'll tell you one thing. The Cincinnati Police Department know her very well. <laughs> Anybody calls her, they're like, oh yeah, we know that one. <laughs> you know. But I'm glad that I'm away from her. And I just wanted everybody to know I'm sorry for the way I acted. If I said anything to hurt anybody's feelings, I didn't mean it. That wasn't me. She kind of takes you over. <laughs> yeah. And I am so sorry for Keith. Um, I feel so bad that I even said what I said. But, you know, I hope one day he can talk to me and um, we can, you know, work it out because I have no bad feelings towards him. I had no bad feelings towards April. She kept me and April separated by telling each one of us lies. She told April I stole the money. She told April, told me April stole the money. But see, yeah, I'm going to. If I see him, I will apologize to him. Because um, I don't mean, I didn't mean to be mean to him. She was telling me a bunch of things about it, about him, and I don't even know if it was even true half of it. I mean, I just, I don't know. Because I talk to him and I hear one thing, and then I was so wrapped up with her, um, I didn't, you know, I was just letting everything she was saying to me make me be the way I was, and I didn't want to be that way. I literally sat down and said, um, you know, this is not me. I'm not this type of person. I don't talk like that. I don't accuse people of things, and I don't yell and scream, and I don't push people around. Um, so I am really sorry for what I did. I did not mean to be that way. I don't know what made me be that way, but I'm telling you one thing. This girl, I want nothing to do with her. I'm, I don't even want to even hear her name around me anymore um, because it's ridiculous. It's... Yeah, but she took it way, way beyond. She would talk bad about people all the time, and I just sat there and said, I don't know how you can sit there and be nice to them and then talk bad about them. But I do really, really feel sorry for Keith. It was horrible what I said, but I think I was, like, pushed. You know, I was, like, following her lead and trying to help her through this, but now I'm looking at it and going, why did I do this? You know, why did I let one person run me like that? Um, so, you know, she will do, yeah, she will do things. She, she was like manipulating me so bad because since I haven't been around her, it's just like everything is kind of cleared up, you know, and I really started to see everything that she's been doing. Started going through and nitpicking everything she did and what she told me, and I started finding little snips that didn't make any sense. Um, you know, when she said, oh, I'm going to go get a dog, and I gave her 50 bucks, and she never went and got the dog. But I can tell you right now, they're not going to let her have a dog because the ASPCA is going to notify all the animal rescues, all the pet shops that, you know, about her record, because they pulled her record up, and they said, nope, she can't have a dog. There's no way we can give her a dog. And she told me Saturday she was going to go pick a dog up from the ASPCA. And I guess she was trying to get more money from me, and I just didn't bite at it. I was like, oh, okay. I just left it at that. But... Yeah, I am. That will never happen. Oh, tink. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you?
but you know, it is terrible. Um, there is a lot of things, you know. Yep, he's my he's my youngest one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am gonna go live tonight for PZ, but. I just wanted to get this off my chest because I've been thinking about it all week. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing anything with her. She's done, gone. Yeah. April, I'm sorry. I should have told you earlier, but I didn't know how close you two were and I didn't want to get involved in it. I was trying to find my way out. But I mean, it's terrible. I mean, all I wanted was to have my own space and be able to do things, you know? Um, you know, because I have family, I have his mom coming up here, and I can't take a chance of, you know, her running my life. My mo my mother-in-law wouldn't understand it, you know. She'd be like, why is this girl doing this, you know? But, yeah, so, yeah, I know. I did, too. I did the first time, and she slapped me in the face, and then she did it again, so. She uses everybody for money. And see, and a lot of the people that donate to her are now starting to realize only certain people are donating and the rest are just sitting there and getting a free ride. And that kind of makes people mad too. Who's that? Quit bothering me. Hold on. I don't know who that is. But, you know, so if anybody ever gets a hold of Keith, tell him how sorry I am. I did not mean for anything to happen the way it did. Um, I was totally misled, and I let it get to me. Um, the same thing with Tuesday. That was all. She never went to the hospital. I've come to find out that never happened. You know, getting little snippets. Um... You know, I'm starting to pick a pe pick apart all of her, um, you know, her stories, and that's terrible because she put me, she she literally messed me up when she did that, and then to come find out, see, I didn't know what her history. I heard about her history, but I later actually thought about it before I even called nine one one, but I never never thought she would use it as a money scheme. I never. You know, and I had nothing to do with it because I had no, um, yeah, I had no idea what was going on. It just all showed up on my phone. So I had no idea she was doing that. And that's horrible. And this whole cancer thing, that's horrible too. I don't even know if that's true. Um, I heard she's been scamming that too. And I've had people, my family has breast cancer. My mom had it, my mom's mom had it, and then my mom's mom had it. So they're, they test me like every year for it. And, you know, I'm thinking if I have it, here she is telling everybody she has it and she doesn't, that, you know. And I had a friend of mine pass away from it, so it's pretty terrible, you know. Huh? Oh, what? <laughs> so, I gotta get off here, dog's gotta go potty. <laughs> you gotta go potty. Oh, let me put him out and go potty. You wanna go potty? Come on, let's go potty. Let's go potty, come on. All right, you can walk behind me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 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 That I didn't mean for this to happen. Um, hello. So, you know. In April, I'm really sorry that you had to hear it this way. Hey, hey. So, um. So, I'll be back on tonight probably about 7. Because uh, they brought some new stuff up. Yeah, I know. I know. But, see, I made the list. <laughs> if you make the list, you're somebody, okay? I can't believe that just because I did that, she put me on the list. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm done with it. Now I feel better.
I got it all out. <laughs> Told all my little dirty secrets I know about her. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like everybody else now, just waiting. Yep, when you make the list, get a pat on the back. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her. But I'm going to go because I got to get some packing done and get boxes out. Um, yeah. Um, she's, she's uh, up and down. Like one minute, she doesn't understand half the time what's going on. We'll sit and have a full conversation with her. And then we'll call her the next time and she doesn't understand. So it's, it's kind of rough. But as soon as we get her up here and we can work with her better, I think she'll be okay. It's just that we're so far away from her. So she'll be moving up here in like July. We're, we gotta go down a couple times in June to get everything packed up and get it up here, so. Yeah. So thank you everybody who came in. I will be back on tonight at seven for Pink Zebra. Um, it's Pink Zebra, it's a home fragrance company. So I'll be on tonight with that. If anybody wants to come in, you can. Um, and I gotta go let my dog in before he has a fit, okay? So um, y'all have a good day. Sorry you know, for everything that happened. You know, now I feel better. I'm not worried about it. You have a good night, April. I'm sorry. You know, still be my friend, okay? Still keep talking to me, all right? So I will talk to y'all later, all right? Y'all have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon.